chest, shoulders. You know, in fact, you want to let that shoulder just hang a little bit. You know, you know, it, we talked about using the arms for balance, right? One of the yeah. purposes of the rear arm is to balance the weapon and so on. Okay, so the young guard. Well, see, this doesn't look balanced to me. <laughs> right. See, this looks balanced to me. Mm -hmm. So, so there's some latitude there, and, and with you having a uh, tendency to put tension in your shoulders, right. let's see if just hanging that down a little bit helps you out at all. All right. All right. And, uh, My rotator cuff is so I need you too. <laughs> I, I bet. I bet. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Just that. Good. Relax, face you, turn out a little bit. to coach yourself and give yourself a quick thing to remember feel <laughs> ah feel What's the difference between those things? What's the difference in the feeling? One is you're just tapping the blade. Don't tell me what I'm doing. Tell me what you feel. I feel forward movement on one and lateral movement on the other. So okay, let's see if that's true. It's a shorter. Let's see if it's true. Let's see if that's true.
said, now tell me what the difference between those feelings were. Sometimes you thrust it, sometimes you didn't, right? Right. Okay, so would you flip a coin? <laughs> no. Okay, tell me. The duration of the contact? No. Don't tell me, Mr. Scientist, <laughs> the duration of the uh, five times the radius squared. What do you feel? Well, that's all we got is words, so give it a shot. What did you feel? What was the difference between those cues? Sometimes you didn't trust. Why not? You know, lazy? <laughs> huh? I didn't have your blade at that point. You're you just... didn't have my... How'd you know that? <laughs> I could feel, but I didn't have your blade. You could feel what? The absence of... You could feel the absence yeah. of my blade. Yeah, that's right. It's not just that you feel what's there, you also feel what's not there. That's really important. Yeah. All right. Very good. What is there is there. Feel. Don't think. Feel. It's time is time. Don't tiptoe. That's it. Very good, guys. Say that. What you feel and what you feel not. <laughs> you feel what's not there. Phantom limb syndrome, right? <laughs> right? It only hurts because it's not there. Right. Whoa. Here we go. All right. I feel the difference between this and this. What's the difference between those two things? We'll do a few. Do you feel something or do you feel nothing? I feel something. Okay, you feel something. What is the character of what you feel? It depends. <laughs> well, you tell me about it. It does depend. What does it depend on? How much pressure I'm receiving. How much pressure you're receiving? Tell me what you feel. <laughs> Because you don't know how much pressure you were receiving. Right. You can't say, oh, that was uh, 6.3 <laughs> pounds per inch, you know? So that's horseshit. What do you feel? What do you feel? Either I have your blade or you have my blade. Very good! <laughs> Very good. Let's try that. Did I have your blade? Tell me what you felt. You said either you have my blade or I have your blade. Okay? Well, let's examine that premise, right? Okay. Do I have your blade? No. Well, why not? Well, how do you know? <laughs> how do you know? It feels like, you know... <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll give you a half credit for that because you started with it feels. <laughs> okay. How do you know? If I have your, what do you mean by having my blade or me having your blade? What do you mean by that? What do you mean by having a blade? I have a blade. In front of you. <laughs> what do you mean by that? 
What does it mean to have what? To have control. To have control. To have control of the blade. Oh, well, that's different. Let's see. Let's see. Do I have control of your blade? Hell no, because you can thrust. Yep. Now who's got control? I do. Fuck me. <laughs> Boom. You have control. How do you know you have control? <laughs> what do you feel? What do you feel? Well, what do you feel or not feel? Well, I feel blade contact. Okay, feel blade contact. Good start. How best to describe that? Where's the blade contact? Can you tell? Yeah, so if I, if a blade contact, well. Okay. Do that. For example, I don't have control. Just, just, just do the thing. Just do the thing. All right. Make it strong. Okay. Boom. Stop. Where's the blade contact? So I've got a stronger part of my blade than you can feel yours. Yeah. Can you feel me push your blade? No. Oh. How about now? No. I'm pushing your blade, but I'm pushing on the wrong fucking part of your blade. <laughs> and it doesn't mean shit if I do that. And that's why who has control? You do. You have control because of what? The relative positions of the blade. When you have a stronger part of your blade against a weaker part of my blade, you have control. 99.99999. Unless I'm setting up an average. <laughs> All right, so how's that different from this? Well, why are you disengaging? Keep your guard up and in my face, forward, guard forward, guard forward. That's it. Why are you disengaging? What do you feel that makes you want to disengage? Don't tell me pressure. Tell me what you feel. You've got pressure. <laughs> You've got the weaker part of my blade. Okay, I've got the weaker part of your blade. What else is going on? You're moving it. I, I, I'm trying to move it. And, and if you don't disengage, what's going to happen? <laughs> You've got my blade. Ah, oh, I'm going to have control of your blade. Yeah, man. Okay, so you feel my pressing on your blade. Yeah, you feel that. I'm trying to take your blade. Don't let me. Right. Simple as that. What you feel, what you don't feel. What's the character of what you feel? I know, Garden. From what you feel, would you say my line is open or closed? Open. Okay. From what you feel, would you say my line is open or closed? Closed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Close or close in, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So if you feel your bonus line open, what do you do? Go straight. If you feel your bonus line closed, what do you do? Just engage. Yeah. How simple it is. Doi. <laughs> Don't think about it. Don't anticipate it. Sink down, ready? Uh, 
3 o'clock. 3 o'clock? Yeah? Okay, if your thumb is 3 o'clock, that means your hand is fully supinated, yeah? Yeah. If you have to par parry 6, how are you going to do that? Oh, right, so it's probably more like... Well, yeah, but is it? I said, where is your thumb? All right, are you telling me where your thumb should be, or are you fucking telling me where it is? <laughs> I didn't say where, you, where should your thumb be. Fair. I said, where is it? it I, I was hyper that day, so. Okay, you were. So, uh, so now where should your thumb be? One, two o'clock. Yeah, about 1.30 would be cool. Give or take a minute. <laughs> All right, yeah. Because then, what does that give you room to do if you have to? Supernate. Gives you room to supinate and elevate, which is the only way you can do it. <laughs> supinate, elevate. Supinate, elevate. Supinate, elevate. Everybody said, <laughs> supinate, elevate. <laughs> Not too big. Just what you need. Just what you need. Yeah, I don't think you need all that much. Because you don't have to put my point out here. Right. You just have to make it miss you by. <laughs> by, that's about how big my point is. If it misses you by that much, you're good, right? Yeah. You may not feel good. <laughs> you, you might emotionally prefer to knock it over to far left field. But you don't. But then I can move my uh, It opens up a series of disasters yeah. for you. That's right. <laughs> so as always, do not be emotionally led. That was all oh, not supination elevation. Give me supination elevation. All right. Elevate not the hand, but from the elbow. From the elbow. That's better. Now smaller. Look how, look how big that is. You don't need that much. Look what my point is. Mm -hmm. You could get along with just that. Shouldn't you? It only has to be that big. I only have to miss you. <laughs> you don't get more longevity if I miss you by a much more. <laughs> you get the same amount of longevity if I miss you. <laughs> right. Better. Right. Don't let your wrist break. I want to try and keep the, the your handle centered up your arm, so that your 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 weapon goes from the point to a straight line to your elbow, and, and not broken at the wrist. For this, all right? Way big though. Yeah. Rear arm side one, that's good. To get point right here. Just outside. Your left, to your left. Just out of the Look, look, look. Whoa. <laughs> if your point goes just outside my face, that's enough to protect you. Well then don't be a green pig. What's the smallest pair you can make and still protect yourself? Yeah. Oh yeah! Push with the shoulders. You got a tricep on that arm. Oh, no matter how hard I beat your blade, you still carry the same place. Why? It doesn't need any bigger. Yeah, it doesn't need any, big, any bigger than that. Yeah, very good. Very good. Cool. And what do you feel on that repose? What do you feel? Who's got what part of what played on who? Sort of. Sounds like the camera sutra of the. I've got the strong part of my blade and the weak part of yours. I got the strong part of my blade sitting on a rainbow. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. Cool. Oh, now what? What the fuck was that? <laughs> By actually disengaging. <laughs> you should have known that was coming. <laughs> so, so what's going on? What's going on? What do, you, what do you feel? What's changed? What's changed in what you feel? Changing your relationship with blade contact. Okay, well tell me about that relationship. Candy and flowers or what? <laughs> You're changing it so that you have the strong part of your blade and the weak part of mine. How the fuck am I doing that? I mean, let's, let's see that. All right, boom, and I'm coming. Yeah. Why am I doing that? <laughs> Why do you suppose I'm doing that? 
you're anticipating the maestrator post. Yeah, because I don't want to die. Here we go. <laughs> right. So uh, you've got control of my blade. There's your point. About uh, there you go. About six inches from my chest. Holy fuck! Yeah. Right. 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 You are triggering my what? Self defense reflex. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> All right. Nah, nah, go with your nose, so big. <laughs> tiny, tiny, tiny. Better? But keep your arm as one unit. Stop. Yeah, right there. Right there. Okay, now, what do you feel? What did you What did you learn, Dorothy? <laughs> you, if you break the wrist, you can see that if you do it properly. If I break the wrist, meaning where I'm, I'm making it like a cut. Yeah. If I'm making it like a cut, you can deceive it. What? Because I can see the preparation. Well, I it. telegraphed my intention with that preparation. But when you couldn't deceive it, what did you see? Nothing. Before Not that damn thing. <laughs> That's right. Because I'm when you do it correctly, guard, you go from a position of immobility. Directly to the action. There's, you don't There's no have to go any place first. You're, you're already there. But 
if I'm doing it like this cut, I have to gather up momentum, then release that momentum. But if I'm using my muscles instead, I just go right to the action. There's no preparation. Cool. Here we go. I'll too big, too big, I think. A straight line from your point to your elbow. Better. If you, if you let your wrist become a joint, it's going to screw things up. It's going to be a non-joint to the wrist. Still too big. Make it smaller. You can do it smaller. You have done it smaller. I know you can do it smaller. So do it smaller. There you go. There you go. Yeah, man. Finish it, though. Don't anticipate. Like sharp corner. Sharp corner. Good job. Shake it out, shake it out. How's your hand holding up? It's holding up. Good. Let's just do a couple more. I'm going to give you a little rest. All right. Oh, okay. <laughs> but if you're going to lunge, lunge. Don't run. yourself getting jerked around by your emotions and you're thinking when you should be feeling and everything is turning into shit this is a technique for pulling your head out of your ass mm -hmm. fine and, and it doesn't have to be four counts could be two counts or whatever all right breathe in hold breathe out hold breathe in hold breathe out hold breathe in. and some people only need one when once once you get it Sometimes one of those breaths is enough. Some people call it tactical breathing because they want to sound like GI fucking Joe. <laughs> but th this technique is as, as old as, you know, this goes back to when Jesus was a teenager. Okay? I mean, it's, this is yeah. old. This, uh, I mean, ancient India type shit, you know. And it still works like a child. It still works. Ah. Amazing. Human physiology it hasn't changed much. Yeah, how about that? How about that? All right, three times perfect. Here we go. Boom. Don't sink into it. Stay upright. Make it sharp and precise. Good. Good choice. You fell. Oh, oh, oh. You it now. Don't get sucked in. Don't let me suck you in emotionally. Very good. All right. Thank you, sir. Questions, comments, or gripes? Merci. Good job. This is um, this is your basic training. Mm -hmm. If you are going to work on one thing, it's relaxation and feeling. Because you can do all kinds of technical shit. You know, I mean, you understand stuff, right. you know, and all that stuff. But that's not what's getting you away. So, and you're not alone. I mean, all God's children. Let me tell you, they need to learn to live in the present moment. Right? We all do. But it's challenging to sustain. Because we have this fucking brain. Right? Cool. Good job. Good job. Maybe we got some of that on tape. That was a nice lesson. Yeah, that was. <laughs> 